Bowman here at BW1.com and we're going to check out the OCZ Vertex series of solid state drives. Now this particular solid state drive I have here, here is a 60 gigabyte solid state drive and a SATA 2 interface and 2.5 inches in size. So let's just take a quick look at it here. And um, SATA drives are becoming more popular obviously for the low power consumption that they take, the really fast speeds they provide and they're coming down in price where people can use them as their OS drive, you know, you can start the operating system on it and get the real nice speeds from there. So the max performance that they say that this does have is 230 megabytes per second on the read, right up to 135 megabytes per second, and sustained up to 70 megabytes, sustained right up to 70 megabytes per second. Let's open it up and just take, just take a quick look at it. Okay. Let's it Got some pretty simple packaging here. We open it up to reveal the drive here. As you can see here, it has a nice black matted finish with uh, the sticker that's a Right here on the front that says the Vertex series, 60 gigabyte. It's pretty light, not much around as you can see on the sides, other than what's right here in the front, which is this is your serial ATA connection, this is your power, this is your data, and this is do some jumpers right here if you need them. But, um, but other than that, it's pretty simple here. Now this is a 2.5 inch drive, meaning that you, most desktops don't have a 2.5 inch space in them. Some of the newer ones are coming with a way to convert it around to do so. But if you're going to, let's say, if you're going to put in a laptop, you're going to be fine. This laptop drives are 2.5 inches anyway, so this will fit right in. If you're going to use it in a desktop and you need uh, some way of converting it, definitely check out the video that I did in IC Dock, which allow you to put this inside of there, and it takes it from 2.5 and puts it in a 3.5 inch case, so you can use it in a desktop, since so 3.5 inches is a standard desktop hard drive size. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to put this in a computer. Okay, now I have the drive installed into my system. We can take a look at some of the benchmarks. Um, but first, quickly, I have this at the firmware of uh, 1.5. There is a 1.6 firmware available for it, but I was reading there was a lot of issues with that particular firmware. So for this review, I did not install that firmware inside. So specs, you know, the speeds may vary a little bit when getting up to 1.6. Not sure if it's going to go up or go down, but this is as far as version uh, 1.5 on the firmware. Um, it's in my um, system. There's no operating system on it, but the operating system that the, the system is running on is Windows 7 64-bit, 12 gigs of RAM. It does have a Core i7-920 processor overclocked to 3.6 gigahertz. So um, let's take a look at sort of the speeds here for read and write. It's sequential. We have it at 208.32 megabytes per second. Write speed 107.52. At uh, 4K, it's at 28.41. At write, it's 7.83. At 4K, 64 threads is 68.34 megabytes per second. Write speed, 8.47. Access time is 0 0.136 milliseconds. And write speed is 0 0.536. So on pretty decent speeds there. I have it plugged in directly to the Intel controller on the uh, motherboard. I don't have anything special or anything else going on. They just plugged right in directly, as, as a normal user would use it for. Um, as far as, uh, let's take a look at ASSD copy bench. That's what I use for this ASSD for the benchmarks. We'll take a look at the copy benchmark as far as ISO. It had 118.05 megabytes per second. The duration was, took about 9.10 seconds there. Uh, programs at 91.46 megabytes per second at a duration of 15.38 seconds. And speed uh, for games was 115.72 megabytes per second at about 11.93 um, seconds for the duration so um, overall pretty good specs there for for, for the solid state hard drive from OCZ they make some pretty good solid state drives out there um, it's not as high as the Intel in terms of spec specs but it's still a very good SSD and definitely one to consider um, I'll be sure to put in the description sort of how AS SSD benchmark works sort of how they do their tests so be sure to check the description in there for all of that so you can read and kind of co compare how this works with the notes that are in the description also you know click the link to get some more insight as well in the description but um, other than that I, if you're considering a, a solid state drive OCZ solid state drive is definitely one to consider so this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you subscribe to our YouTube page Follow us on Twitter and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.